Ladies and gentlemen, this is the number nine ranked strawweight contender in the world, the Karate Hate, Michelle Waterson. And now, fighting out of Florianopolis, Santa Catarina, Brazil, presenting the number six ranked strawweight contender in the world, Marina Rodriguez. A referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. We've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. Touch gloves. Let's do it. We'll see if that ends up factoring into the equation. So Rodriguez goes buffer fist bump and gets stonewalled by my broadcast partners. Camila Oliveira. Fight Block is brought to you by Toyo Tires, the official tire of the UFC. Rodriguez is in black. Main event underway. Watterson is in the white with blue trunks. It's always a feeling out process very early. You got to get your opponent's timing. It's got to get your opponent's speed. It, you can't just start fighting from second one when you have no reads as to what you're really in. Just rush in there. I always thought it was crazy how certain people just easy to just run over there like that. Oi! Tight's left hand lands by store for. What about Morono? That was crazy. That is cr <laughs> Sorry, left hand. Michelle Watterson early. Watterson has spent a lot of time working. <laughs> Famous sidekick on her attacks out of this southpaw stance, diversifying her. I mean, look at the speed of Rodriguez. Rodriguez attacks to the body effectively there. The left hook landed hard. He starts everything off with the left to get the range, but when that right hand starts... I mean, that right hand, man, she's got such a good right hand. She's the length of Rodriguez, too. She's a tall fighter for the weight class. To connect, it's heavy. You saw Michelle almost jump into the punch. And nice high or kick. vice versa, start with your hands a little bit undersized. You got to start with your kicks and end with your hands. Watterson being that short and a little... Yeah, if you're Michelle Watterson with your kicks, but you gotta have oh. a kick in there if you're Michelle Watterson. Nice recovery. Rodriguez. She reminds me of Yolanda and Jacek when Yolanda was making her way to the title. Three from Watterson after a big right hand from Rodriguez. When I watch Hodge, that good Muay Thai base with good takedown defense, it's just very aggressive when she attacks. These. And just the way she tries to batter and bruise her opponents with her hands in her for a really long time. Late start in MMA at 26. You can tell that she's been doing Muay Thai and fighting. Six, but you're right, Muay Thai gym. Talking about 22 years yeah. of Muay Thai experience. You can tell, John, that she's been entered at 12 years of age. So you're talking very well versed in the striking room. Watterson, very difficult to put away. Marina Rodriguez. Oh. On the other side has never been finished in her first 16. Now 17 pro fights. Former strawweight champion Carla Esparza by split decision. Rodriguez in mixed martial arts. Only woman to ever beat five days of combined quarantine for Rodriguez on both ends. That was a very close fight, too. And I would also point out... Oh, there was a 25 minute... She quarantined on the front and back end. Wow. Wow. Two minutes to go here, round one. In Brazil... She does that really good. She throws everything up high. Get you. Heavy leg kick from Watterson. Aaron is out of range. 
Rodriguez, proven to have the early advantage on the feet, goes high. Then raise your hands, and then she just throws this nasty outside kick. That side kick that she lands, she literally can land it from anywhere to the face. She got such accuracy, Michelle Watterson. 25 years. I mean, she throws her time of martial arts experience. Watterson's been doing it forever. You talk about a life. Her legs, like she's throwing hands. It's crazy yeah, the way her hips you're come right. up. Rodriguez continuing. To diversify her attack. That poke kick that you see uh, a lot of people using now to the front. And that's that. Stops all forward momentum. You see Michelle Watterson poke that leg or poke the face or poke the body with that side kick. Front knee anytime Rodriguez, Rodriguez tries to move forward. My competitor, round one, knee from Hawk. Rodriguez, we're back in 30 seconds. Get the timing still. Well, these are long, you know, long time vets do things that are unnecessary. But if there's ever an opportunity to strike him, and in a striking battle like that, they're not gonna. So far, Michelle Watterson's going in the. If either one of them is hurt, they will pounce. Counter roll, roll right now on her. Combinations especially. He lets those hands go. They make an effect. Huge effect. Back foot waiting for the tip kicks, the inside kicks. But right now, Rodriguez, when she... Rodriguez. She's good, man. Rodriguez is really good. Pretty good combination from Hod. Patient, calm. Good striking, and, and boy, this is where she's good. She's gonna start to try to elbow. Michelle escaped that tie clinch. She knows how Daniel's very aware to look at how desperate Michelle was to just Rodriguez is there. Immediately following this main event, we will have a full UFC fight night post. Just over three minutes here to go round two. Don't forget a show for you live on ESPN Plus. Ning Bot. Megan Olivia, Alan Joban, Dean Thomas, and Karen Bryant are standing. Oh, nice knee from Rodriguez. Nice. Watterson. His last seven fights have all gone the distance. Rodriguez has been the more effective striker early. Both athletes mixing it up fairly well, but Rodriguez. But you always got to reset. When Michelle throws that side kick, she puts you back on your heels. Right? So fast in the way that she goes from the leg to the body to the head and mixes it up. And that specific technique. Well, it's long. And people still can't just avoid it. That tells you how good she is. It's a very nice technique. And it's something that she's done for so long. All up is what makes it tricky. Nice short strike from Watterson, and Michelle doing a pretty good job keeping that left guard high with all those right hands coming from the clinch positioning. She's got the better of the hand positioning and the arm positioning. Rodriguez. Rodriguez, when they get in the clinch, she's win. Following combinations to the clinch is probably not a bad idea if you're Rodriguez on the inside space against Watterson. So, Rodriguez so far, if you're looking at the exchanges so far. Marina Rodriguez, who seemed to have some issues with breathing out of Big deep breath a moment ago from Michelle Watterson will be able to carry this pace for five rounds. Her nose early in the fight. If she fatigues, the fifth round she threw about a six punch combination against Ang We saw that in the Angela Hill fight. I feel like it's so on point. Even though she takes these fight late notice on the hill. And it showed that the cardio is just, she's yeah. always training and getting oh, prepared. Yeah. Her and 
Durance is getting better. She believes she's getting faster. Let's think about it. Rodriguez is winning these two rounds. She's doing a... But make no should be able to sustain the energy and the ability to go 25 minutes at this pace. Really good job with her strikes. Long as she doesn't load up too much, she should. This isn't it's necessarily a technique. Fast pace. Something that she's done for. With the accuracy that Watterson's able to land those side kicks, I mean, it's very impressive. She's the only one in the U.S. Men, you almost have to flood her with hands just like this. Otherwise, oh. she's going to see the lands them as much and as accurately. And it's any time you come kick you. Big knee from Rodriguez after some nice work with her hands. Watterson's chin holding up. Final seconds of the... Holes maybe bleeding a little bit. Oh, oh the the fight or the round. It looks like Watterson's... No, Looks like an elbow missed. from Rodriguez late in the round. We are back in 30 seconds. Lead leg is hurt, right? Her lead leg is hurt. One more time. Michelle, her Get her deep breath. Come on, Michelle, big deep breath. There we go. Backing up the cage, I want you to go one way from the other. Don't succumb to straight back. Go hide his face. Face and right here to end the round of barrage of punches that just from Watterson and nice knees in the clinch, controlling that inside. See some breakdowns of some replays here. Nice right hand for land on Michelle Watterson. Nice, nice knee to Michelle Watterson has a lot of time left in this fight to make it up. Compromise, they want Michelle to attack it. It did land, but it didn't land. Didn't. Oh! Well, she tried to throw that one as yep. hard as she possibly could. That was a heavy right high kick. Watterson about as game as it gets, but she did absorb a big head kick a moment. Try to hold, give herself some time to recover. To go. And smart to get to the clinch. Great job controlling underhook by Watt. Either turn her back and try to rotate back into Michelle or frame off the face. For Rodriguez, she needs to try to frame with her left hand to get her hands back inside, just like she did there. Rodriguez pressing forward, shin. That was a nasty body shot there by Rodriguez. And tucked here, about a minute gone by round three. Oh, oh good shots from Rodriguez. Gosh. Ooh. At the shit in return. It's because she can't hurt her. Watterson has At this point, Rodriguez is just eating the shot of Watterson and exchanging a combination. Michelle avoids. It's the way she escapes, right? When she's in these exchanges. At 125. Yep. Plus, it's also the way Michelle is showing the ability to hurt her. You can see the weight class difference. Yep. And in, I, in I, she's getting hit. She almost like runs away from Rodriguez. With the sidekick, she has a tough time. But right now, that got her ahead. That sidekick is, yes. is how she defends. And if she doesn't defend. And that lead leg of Rodriguez. Certainly bears watching. So square down on the mat, Ooh. it just hyperextends the leg. And it's landed a few times on her foot. It's when Rodriguez gets too aggressive, Michelle throws that front side kick. There's another low leg kick. Kick for good measure. Rodriguez faints a couple times, then lands a powerful right. When Rodriguez throws that right hand, man, she almost loads that thing up to the... A little bit shorter and tighter. That was... But she's just looping it aside and just drops it down on you because she's so tall. It's almost like an overhand to the type. <laughs> yeah, she just keeps unloading that combination right there instead of stopping, I think. I mean, that was her just swinging it as hard as she could. Don't work, and Michelle Watterson has to move her feet now to get out. In order to get out of the pocket, she can get way ahead, Rodriguez, because once she's in the pocket, the side kicks throw combination, she's the most effective. John Anik, Daniel Cockett. So when you see 
Rodriguez move forward, keep the pressure. Lena Rodriguez and Michelle Watterson. <laughs> Drawweight contenders who have moved up to take this main event opportunity. Marina on ESPN. This is our flyweight main event between Stormier, Dominic Cruz, Octagon side here in Las Vegas. You are watching UFC fight. Heavy shots. That right hand was about as clean as any. It amazes me how accurate Michelle Watterson is. Oh, wee, those are her face to try to prevent the damage, but. Watterson's left hand largely has been pasted to her. Rodriguez, sorry. This is as tough as they come, but right now she's getting schooled by Rodriguez. Oh, man, yes, Rodriguez. Beautiful combination. <laughs> Nice body kick. And I think part of the outside kick to a 2-3-2. Two, two. He is throwing combinations, punches and bunches, finishing or starting with the kick. The difference, too, is we're seeing Watterson throw one or two shots at a time, and Hadri... I, I, I mean, when people hold pads for you, and they're constantly just yes, doing to oh, you. Yeah, Watterson. Watterson there. That was... Walking down the zone. Oh. Imagine an opponent doing that, like Rodriguez. It's a heavy uppercut. Just and Rodriguez eats it. It's her again. She's got to hurt bad. A spotty kick. Watterson almost tricks you into... She's got to hurt bad. I think she's hurt, and then she stabbed you with something heavy. We will stay here between rounds. Rodriguez seems to be moving pretty well on that lead leg. Venha, venha, respire. Okay, come on. Breathe. Tá ótimo. Okay, Boa. very good. Okay, here. Mais uma. Ma someone, one more. Respire mais firme. Let's breathe. Mais firme. Firmer. Então, Just agora. control the distance. <laughs> Herb Dean told Michelle to start fighting back, and she did. Throw that combination. She just unloaded here. Right here, you see Rodriguez land a nice knee and a right hand, left hand, which saved her. Nice front side kick. She dominated, and she seemed to have Michelle in a lot of trouble as the round in. Second out. But it was Rodriguez's round, man. By Michelle Waterson that knocks Rodriguez down, followed by an ended. Let's see how Waterson recovers after that third round. That was career. It was a much greater initiative and endeavor for her to get. Right, she seems good. She seems like she's breathing well. Seems to have brought her gas tank with her. She seems fine. To Vegas for this opportunity and... Oh, pace is good. Like we said in round two, you know, it's not the fastest pace, right? It's the strikers. And the pace is just pace. And a striker can do this all day. That wrestling, grappling energy yes. expenditure, right? All that wrestling, I mean... Look. Yeah, without that. Yeah, but that fight was incredible. I'm by yeah, Gregor Gillespie is yeah. an understatement. I mean, look at what it did to Gregor Gillespie. I've said Gregor Gillespie five times. I mean, he was... <laughs> but it's about... And we're seeing this fight drawn out over five rounds. To exhaust somebody like that is, is the name of the game. He got him out of... You know, that's when... These ladies are having a chess match, strike by strike, piece by piece. They're landing great shots. It's just not as frantic a pace as we've seen earlier. But at this pace, right where she's landing, this is like sparring and hitting pads, right? Marina Rodriguez can hit pads for 10 rounds if she needs to. Not taking much damage coming back. So if her cardio wasn't able to dictate the pace at which they fight at. That was a good way to put it, you see. The snuff, it wouldn't really show itself in this taste of fight. Because she's been a full-blown, like... There's no, they're just not grappling, right? They're not wrestling. This looks like a, how they're fighting a sparring match almost. Yeah. It's a sparring match. It's not wrestling. But trust me, Rodriguez is trying to finish this fight. Michelle's oh, yeah. got it hard. But it just, it, the pace isn't as fast. That is a nice takedown. Shots out of Michelle Watterson. That was a shot. She attacked the legs and got it. We're in Rodriguez. And she said she was, we don't see a lot of. She'll deal with the gas tank. Oh, that'll help Michelle Watterson there. And that'll help Michelle Watterson also. That'll First help take down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Take down. Let's see what she can do with it. That There's the wrestling. And let's see if Rodriguez gets back to her feet. Getting that hand control. Good job by Watterson there. Two and a half minutes here to go. Round four. That pays dividends here. Top game is very good, but she is a little undersized. So we'll see if that rise if she gets out from underneath 
Michelle Waterson. Michelle Waterson's Amanda Hebas, she accepted this position. I will be I will be surprised. Or she just accepts Told out the, the bottom position for two and a half minutes. Two against a Movement to try to clear yourself. And right now, Michelle Watterson is not giving her. It all starts with a with, with one fighting with her left hand while she's underhooking the far side. Watterson's doing a good job of hand to that right elbow, and she can start to work her way up. But right now, sitting on her goal of Watterson there, she needs to dig a left underhook and get Rodriguez needs to get that. Right leg out from underneath the angry to the first step to her escape procedure. Shoulder, she can't get up. Well, that left leg on the hip. Start Watterson, shoving at butterfly, the hip. butterfly. She's dropping bombs on her now. Well, we got to see how Rodriguez use that. It's like stuck in the middle. She cannot slide it up. And Watterson, it, it's trapped. Michelle's doing a great job with the knee over the top and the foot behind. Opponent is down towards your ankles. You can't let him stay so high. In Chance if she's on an elbow, but. You gotta start shoving your through the process of getting up. Now she's on an elbow. She has a better gonna grapple for you to just bridge her off of the top of you. You gotta go. Not seeing any underhooks out of Rodriguez. No underhooks. Makes it easier to get back to your feet. Also, we're the legs with no wrestling shoe, with nothing to grab onto, cover you with their body. It's hard to control the bottoms. Control match earlier with Green. Similar positioning. We'll keep her down. We saw that out of the heavyweight match. All over the top of the neck and the arms of Watterson, which this was a massive round for Michelle Watterson to put her with. Outstanding elbow. Wait, so back into the fight. Let's see if she goes back to this in round five. Full work from Watterson on the ground. Speed up. Breathe. Let's get the mouthpiece out. To pressure. You knew this was coming. Okay, let's go, girl. She's going to put her life into this. Get strong on this clinch, girl. Believe on that clinch. Get strong on this clinch. Power corner doing its thing for Michelle Watterson. These five minutes are in terms of the rest of 20. This is where we start to see experience come into play. We often talk about 21 and beyond for these two athletes. Dean Thomas, what do you have for us, sir? All right, gentlemen, this is work experience and it's very cliche to say, but now is when we're gonna see it because you'll make a mistake in that last round by letting herself get taken down and not being able to get up. Younger fighters that don't have experience start making mistakes and we saw Marina. And now if Michelle Watterson can take advantage of those mistakes, she... And in all likelihood, she's gonna need a finish. May be able to get a finish because she's very capable capable of finishing still. And raised, and of course, Rodriguez has never been finished as a pro, but you're right, Dean. Finish or a 10-8 here in round five to get her Henderson coming in. Or at least salvage a draw, right? Because if Thomas nearly twice as much pro MMA experience for what if Watterson can get her down again, I think that's her best chance. Feels like Rodriguez won the first three rounds. Right. She was cruising to try to get a finish. They we just, just saw, we just saw why the last round. No question. No question, Michelle Waterson wants to take down. But does Michelle have the energy to go chase another? Take down, right? You can see, oh, wow. It's like hands, you barely see boxing out of her. She is, huh? She's got those. That was beautiful. I said she uses her legs just to up and slap you around. You're, oh, she got her in the body. Johan. <laughs> Johan legs. <laughs> I mean, she times those sidekicks so well. Beautiful. Michelle Watterson hurt her bad to the body with the back kick there. That was three minutes here. Rodriguez perhaps going to be a hugely compelling final. I think it has to do with what, as Dean Thomas was saying, it's just experience. In survival mode a little bit after that body shot. Huge right from Arena now. Differences in the strike choices. Well, the, the takedown. And Rodriguez looks good, but we're seeing the little tiny... Um, we're seeing Michelle Watterson look very good in this fifth round. Adds a different wrinkle to the fight. True. Right? Because she got taken out now. Oh, see, it's all screwed up after that kick, I believe it was. There's like pursuits. And look because at, she knows she can't get taken Sorry, out. DC, but Rodriguez is choked.
she's not as aggressive in her place. Look at all that swelling on the right side. And she took a heavy kick to that jaw, that's for sure. And the ability of both of these women. Man, the heart. Body shot from Rodriguez now. Doesn't look like a sparring session anymore. No. Nope. This fifth round, they just definitely picked nice up the right hand. Yeah, I just got to look at that kick. Everything. You see it on the face of Rodriguez. Definitely landed perfectly and, and swell, swell up the jaw of in my ISO monitor. That kick, of, that kick of Watterson. She's right back forward and in her face. She defended that first take down. Now Rodriguez is much more aggressive now. So now she Rodriguez. Fight to judge on this one. What a tough... Round five, Rodriguez, though, has landed some crushing right hands in her own right. Waterson has had some huge moments, of course, in round. It's a very compelling fifth round. It speaks to how tough Michelle Waterson is, but she's a great striker. Her level the entire time, how good Maria Rodriguez is. She has just shown. She's got good takedown defense, too. Watterson yeah. takes down everybody. A bit of a tricky takedown, too, right? It wasn't yeah. anything wasn't easy. traditional. She only was able to get her down once so far. It says off, a lot. Off of a little bit sloppy here, late. Rodriguez getting a look. Both women have landed 47% of their signals. I mean, Watterson's style is amazing to me. I mean, significant strikes. More volume, of course, for Rodriguez. Ow. Rodriguez is on her trying to get her out of there, but what a cool... Her way of fighting, her style is... Oh, huge head kick for Rodriguez! And for those who maybe wondered why this was the fight, the pro fight to watch, the, the way that these two matched up has been awesome. Motion went with for the main event. There's your answer. Got your answer. Oh, yeah. Oh. Here's tonight. What a fight! Awesome. What a fight! Go the distance, the official decision. Coming up next. Plays with which to work. Beautiful job at these two, definitely switching it up. We got round this one. Look at that nice outside kick from Watterson there. And it's just, I know we are tough on the judges sometimes, but man, they got their work cut out for him on the two coming now, but huge shots landed right there in one. Some knee clinch, like, let me out of here. That one hurt. And then you see the body shots, the out of that knees and some clinch work. That body shot was huge to get Watterson. Mixture of combinations from Rodriguez followed up with knees. She gets her seeing here up against the fence. Anytime she got Watterson here, she unts to the clinch whenever she can and really does some huge damage right there. Like loaded, a barrage of punch and was able to do some damage. And these side kicks of Rodriguez down all night and Rodriguez just had to return with these. She chopped the lead leg. Michelle Watterson were amazing. She follows up with those low kicks so well. Boxing combinations to the clinch. In round four, a round where she's just on top grounding and pounding and then look like it just swells the jaw of Rodriguez. She didn't see that one coming at all. Look at this nice kick she lands. Outside kick to a lead left hot from Michelle Watterson kept landing and right here we see the overhand right. The Johan kick to the gut all night of Rodriguez landing heavy. I mean this is a back and forth battle that's going to be going straight to the judges. Well congratulations to both women on a huge effort tonight. One final time tonight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. The judges score this contest, 48-47. Marina Rodriguez! Competitive fight, but DC, once you heard the 4-1 times 2, you knew it was. Clear in 2009 when he saw his first MMA bout, an absolute dream come true, but not only for himself, but also for his mom, Arrow. It's an absolutely incredible story. Thank you, Megan. First fighter out of Guyana. Three of us were in Abu Dhabi on Fight Island in January. This young man...
and he felt like he had one opportunity at 32-33. His lifetime of work paid dividends here is in the UFC. And absolutely, and, and, but there's something in learning in that experience and all shows that he can compete in front of anyone. And this is a young man that lights up the room. And then now he's on the cusp of making his UFC debut. When you talk to Carl, 10 siblings, getting to this point, the way that he talks to you to this point, this is just fun for him. He just gets to enjoy the ride, be show what he can do. And when a fighter sits down with us and zero, for a lot of our children, that is not their reality. And it pretty well-rounded skill set. He's a good boxer, but definitely has some grab. Christian Aguilera, Dom making the walk for his third UFC appearance, ran into Sean Brady, brown belt. As he is. But he says that he believes that as time able to take more chances with this stand-up, he wants to be a little bit more cautious. You're absolutely right. He said Harris's striking was a little bit awkward and sloppy. All right, ready to go with our prelim opener. It comes your way in the welterweight division. Christie, the discrepancy in height, a few inches, four-inch reach advantage with the U.S. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Las Vegas for UFC Fight Night. In the UFC welterweight division, introducing the record, 15 wins, 4 losses. He stands, sing, out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, by way of Scaldiras. Hey. Martial artist, holy professional record, 14 wins, 7 losses, and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of Brea Calera. And when the action begins. The assignment for one of the best in the business, Mark Goddard, the beautiful, and Camila are also with us here inside the Apex. Christian Aguilera is here. Carlston Harris counters in yellow. Harris, the minus. There's that body lock right off the bat. He doesn't get that, takes you backwards. He'll go yep. back and forth on this until you fall. Try to rotate with the step in front, and then when you defend, you have to circle back in the opposite. A whizzer on him, and he sticks with it, keeps the body lock. He stayed his, can Christian make it his style fight? Well, Christian right away, about being more calm, and now he finds his way back to the center of the octagon. But felt like his takedown defense and his counter wrestling would. You're the shorter guy. You need to be pressing, you need to be going forward. But be very careful in your approach. Harris, about 90 seconds gone by round one. Oh, nice oh, that hurt. there by Aguilar. Nice inside kick. Gotta land those type of shots on, on Harris if you want to get him to sit down and reach so you can, kind of, you can come right up the middle and land that nice. Well, later tonight on ES, Waterson, also Donald Cowboy Cerrone in the co-main event against Alex Morono. Aguilera bad with that left hook. You saw how they, hard he actually yeah. hits. He's got it. Aguilera right away start to retreat. Straight to the Anaconda. Oh, That's yeah. an Anaconda. He's ready to go he's to sleep. sleep. Yep, he's ready. He's, he's out. He's, oh, he's got it done. He wins his UFC debut. What is going on? Carlson Harris lands that beautiful little hook that hurt. Dom, we spoke about this time and time again. You cannot in that choke. And we see Carlson Harris has two Bravo chokes. It's still very effective. It's a head and arm choke. And it was very chokes and anacondas and guillotines are there all day for this man. Look at this. Look at this straight into the front choke. And he turns him right. I mean, it's just, it's because he's so tight. He's already going out. And Aguilar is not necessarily defending right. Head pinch took him back in the opposite direction, right into that choke. Those wins finishes. Daniel will talk to Carlston Harris after this. Heads to the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston for UFC 262 and the main Chandler for the vacant UFC lightweight title. UFC 262 next settle. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard is called winner by technical submission due to an anaconda choke. Uh, had to cut 17 kilos in like 24 hours geez. to compete in front. Um, and you know, for a championship fight and... Alex Morono is this is big for Alex, but also big for his team to try to get momentum going back in the right involved in this moment right now, Cruz. Yeah, Morono, I mean, he's got great kickboxing. He's got a black belt in jiu-jitsu. He's more tricky on the ground than boxers with black belts in jiu-jitsu that are both very crafty from their back. I think the peppling is the one who wins. And Morono said of his last fight against Anthony Pettis, he said he was kind of in no man's land, Dom, between strategy and kickboxing in his own head a little bit. We, we call that analysis to paralysis. And you have so many things going on in your head that you just freeze.
Well, not much needs to. Boy Cerrone makes the walk to the proven ground for his 37th. You're expecting to have his grudge match of sorts against Diego Sanchez, a vet man with malice on his mind tonight. Yeah, he said that, you know, he felt he was so angry that he trained more focused. He was more present in his training. Corono and Cowboys said all week, this guy's getting a better version of me than I think. Spirit stats are sponsored by Cerveza Modelo. Most wins in UFC history. Charles Oliveira for the most finishes in UFC history. Hey, if either Diego Sanchez or Donald Cerrone pull out, I want that fight. Joe's credentialed guy in terms of the striking and the jujitsu, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. All right, Coleman. Corono two inches shorter. Donald Cowboy Cerrone will have a reach advantage. Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the grounds in the UFC Walter Weight Division. Holy professional record, 18 wins, 7 losses, 170 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of here, Morono! Corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record, six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, Colorado, Donald Cowboy. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark, Got Mark Goddard, the lovely Brooklyn Wren is with. This didn't work. Cerrone oh said, that he's gonna, if I was anybody, I would fight me. When I wrestle right off the bat, it happened exactly the way they both thought. Daniel Rodriguez, his teammate. It's value of a good warm-up. Yeah, I mean, uh, wrestlers always walking out to this match, and he would check our back before we even walked on the mat. Gonna dry you in trouble, man. My kids warm up so hard. Oh, so he's keeping a high pace, and he's got 10 first-round knockouts. Don't well, Morano that. Applies that he can fight with the absolute highest level of fighters in this. He's reaching right now, Morano. If I'm caught. And I believe it's actually had me a little confused. Yeah, for sure. Body. Because he knows the two's coming. He waits for the two to come in. Throws that. Morono knows that right hand's there. We've seen Cowboy Cerrone stop at that right Morono talked a lot about having a tight guard. Donald. Cerrone has very underrated his own. Morono looks fantastic right now. Yeah, that was sharp. I mean, he just... But, so he can't really drive through on the takedown the way he wants. He just grabs it and he kind of comes up to the body. You gotta run your feet. Like that, shooting those shots. Cerrone's no... Nice body kick, Donald digging those toes into the midsection. Of there's nice right, right hand. hand. Boy, that was nasty. He switched up the jet. Cerrone, his head doesn't move too much. It stays on the center, and that's why. Footed, right? Because he's in that classic Muay Thai stance. He wants to drive. Never brings that left up to cover his chin either. He kind of just moves with it. Oh! That was heavy. What a right hand. Easily one, probably the best performance we've ever saw. To your point, yes. Fortis MMA, Alex Morono, a man on him during win tonight. We will take a look at it tonight. I mean, right here, Cowboy throws the lead right hand, hand low, right? The left hand carrying it low. Yeah. Look at it low. Started just going crazy trying to finish throwing big shots. But when he shot again and he went and got the finish, that is a massive victory. For Alex, Mar perfect timing for my money on the stoppage. Boy, DC's you. gonna corral. The official decision is brought to you by Guaranteed Rate Mortgage. Garen started. Here is Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Round declaring the winner by TKO. Oh. What a moment for Alex Morono. A lot of cross face and mount pressure taps, and he rode the way MMA Dom, but Morono seemed to know something that a lot of people didn't. I think DC said a lot 
with that fight with Anthony Pettit, situations that you're unsure of, and then not just surviving it, but thriving in those. Cowboy Cerrone, and now he's going to be talking to DC in no time. He's making mistakes like that, Dom. He didn't make any tonight, really. No, I mean, he threw a jab, and he's with a trip, straight to a jab on the way out. I mean, he was just a little step ahead. There's good reads, and as you saw there, that was a huge right hand, and the shots landed a couple big ones, landed a couple small ones, didn't pour all his energy into it. And Alex Morono, what a fantastic performance. Introducing first, out of the blue corner, she is an under holding a perfect mixed martial arts record of six wins. Representing... The Philippines, the Venice Fairtex, the and now introduced 153 centimeters tall, holding a mixed Mashriki Jin Guts and Hybrid Fighter, Repman. She is May Beefy. Colin and May Yamaguchi. Fans worldwide heavily percent tip a win for VV May Yamaguchi. Of our lead card go. and Yamaguchi rearing to go, bounds out of a size advantage goes the way of Zamboanga. Experience the submissions. Lots of instructions early on. Swagger of an undefeated athlete, but Yamaguchi is. Yamaguchi had two of the all-time great matches. Let's see how she handles an up-and-comer in Denise executed down the pipe. Circle wall. Crossing elbow from the Filipina. Elbow there. Aggressive start from both these ladies. I like it on the inside. Not utilized enough. Good knee to the waist there. He is still the champion, still unbeaten. How important your favorite Sam Fairtex do you think deserves a shot? Because she's a two sport. Who truly could be the next contender for the strawway uh, up against that circle wall? And she did a beautiful job of stopping the forward. Yamaguchi skip up inside thigh kick. Good jab there. The overhand right I spoke about earlier. Yamaguchi loves to throw it. Just get range finding with the lead hand. Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi has seen it all in her career. Threads the overhand right again. Did it? Yamaguchi wants to take her down. Zambuanga may end up doing the floor against a BJJ black belt. Zambuanga, beautiful. She is beautiful. Now you can see Yamaguchi's trying to suck in that leg. She's good job of maintaining that base and her balance to maintain Yamaguchi. Works her way back up to her feet. Which it wasn't grapplers, especially great wrestlers, and how those times have changed now. Even from the likes of Joshua Pasha, Kevin Bellingham, Danny King out. Philippines is the real deal, Michael Cervello. You are seeing anti-wrestling that we're seeing right now from Zamboanga. And then Japanese national BJJ gold medalist. May Yamaguchi left. Zambawanga goes with a jab, goes the right hand of her own. Nice duck under. Counter right hand. Eats a right to the nose. Build the menace. Good forward pressure just to keep herself right in the front of the. On the air everywhere tonight, broadcast in over 150 countries in the arena. Thailand, Tyra 32, BR Live in the USA. Okay, Mitch, let's play coach here. First of all, you can see that she's a like, when she starts to get on that back foot, she set up that shot a little bit better too. Put the hand combinations, and then easily getting stuffed by Zambuanga. Zambuanga, on the other hand, Shanga's shooting for a takedown, gives Yeme Yamaguchi something else to think of. Think takedown might not be there for Zambuanga. Second round, superb, and again, she opens up with that beautiful down the line jab. Zambuanga. Zambawanga, jab again, no right if she gets close enough. Long arms on Zambawanga of the Japanese athlete. Zambawanga smiled and gave her a little couple of the Zambawanga is the main training partner of the two-sport queen at Fairtex Training Center. There's the nice overhand over right from Yamaguchi. And right, it's the way that she's gone for the counter shot. She throws that again, right hand to the jaw of Zambawanga. Mitch, in your opinion, who's winning? Two minutes here have been pretty back and forth, but in the first, I think Zambawanga right hand. Good right hand again for Yamaguchi, Zambawanga wise. On the balls of her feet here, Yamaguchi. Some courtesy of the lead hand, the jab of Zambuanga. Beyond her years. 
Fights very tall here, Zambawanga, very straight up. So often because her head is propped up so high, the same sort of effect. Zambawanga wants to driving takedown from Yamaguchi immediately. Zambawanga. Yamaguchi was able to set that takedown up. She landed a few levels, and you saw that Zambawanga was caught up up top to maybe pop, sit in this position for a little bit of a while. She's comfortable here to sit and ground and pound. Yamakuri victory is a 43% finishing rate via the from Zambawanga. But Zambawanga is very active off tack and heel. Looks like she's got an Achilles lock. Trying to push the defense for Zambawanga here, Dragon. You can see Zambawanga's got Yamaguchi to stretch out and apply pressure to that Achilles. You can see Gucci has started throwing those hands. Team Sean and Zambawanga to fit. You can see it's important for uh, Zambawanga and get control of that heel. She's got to try to peel those. For a finish here in the second round, one of four Japanese competitors, Akiyama, Hinohiro Ito, all on our main card. Defense by Mei Yamaguchi to avoid a lot of those shots, except the last stable to deflect. A little bit of showmanship there. She throwing that right hand, she's like, ah, I got you. Knock those hips under, pull the legs out. Put her on the back. Mei Yamaguchi falls right into that Achilles lock and starts to is pure mixed martial arts. Third and final round in the main event of our so much on the line for this one. Could propel the win. Zambuanga has been boxing beautifully. The jab there from Zambuanga. Repetition just throws it over and over. Start of our main card. Five bouts for you in that one. Things up how she set up that head kick. She looked like she was gonna throw the old Ambuanga knows what's going on here. She's not falling for any of me. Young age is just 23 years. He'll set to match down the corridor there from the Filipina. Gucci expected this to be on the ground a lot more than a head dragon wrestling, and she didn't think Zambuanga would give her this hard a time. These straight punches that are just coming with high volume. Uppercut. Zambuanga's hands are looking on. That right eye is swelling shut on my Yamaguchi. But staying with the tradition of those you know, slick hooks to reverse the position. Look at this from Zambuanga. Elbow on the inside from Zambuanga. Performance like this that earns her a title shot, Mitch. Man, Zambuanga is putting together a pretty good performance. I think she is Queen Angela Lee with performance like this. She's doing great. Let's not run my Yamaguchi. And she's got one minute 55 remaining. Pressing, driving that shoulder right into the chest. But get her back away from the circle wall. Nice little knee press right up against that wall. Running for confidence, and why not? It's been a superb performance from the arm. Sambawanga keeps it pressed against the circle wall. Dragon, how does Yamaguchi get out of this and create an advantage? Allow Zambuanga to turn her like that and keep her side of the face and under the chin of Yamaguchi. Beautiful. Go out to her left, but she can't because of the underhook. Down here for her. My Yamaguchi, 25 seconds. Zambuanga's trying to take her right leg and slide it behind. Oh, no, no. It looks like we're going to go to the judges for this one. Now Yamaguchi has from Yamaguchi. The distance stopped there. Tremendous con. Look at that. What did the man just say? What did the oh, man shot? Denise gets the nod here, title shot. Um, go. Hell up against that circle wall, landing beautiful punches over the Filipino boxing coming out of Denise Sam Wong. Angel, let me know your thoughts. Let's go to Tom Lau. The scorecards. All three judges of your winner by unanimous decision, Denise. The a title shot in this most heated Adam White division. Sambawanga has now derailed Gian Rodzawan, an young athlete from the Philippines.